So hello everyone. Uh, my name is Divina. I have been honored with being Giovanna's mentor. She is a sophomore at Eastside uh, College Prep. Uh, from my knowledge, her favorite subject is history, but overall she is a very, very excellent student. Um, she does uh, pride herself in the ability of being open-minded about learning new, uh, new things. Um, so throughout our uh, entire um, sessions, she had a lot of really great ideas for her project, including an immigration website, which will help um, provide resources to people that need it, um, a website for teen news, a cultural app, a cowboy lasso game, and uh, NFL football trivia game. Uh, she did uh, decide for her final project to be a fo the, um, football trivia game. Uh, she decided on this because she loves football as a sport and as a medium for bringing family and friends together. So join me in welcoming Giovanna. Um, I will translate that now. <laughs> uh, so, hola a todos. Mi nombre es Divina. He tenido el honor de ser la mentora de Giovanna. Giovanna es una estudiante del uh, grado 10 de Eastside College Prep y su materia favorita es historia. Uh, pero en general es una excelente estudiante. Uh, ella se enorgullece de sí misma en su habilidad de ser de mente abierta acerca de nuevos temas que pudiera aprender. Al principio, uh, Giovanna tenía muchas buenas ideas para su proyecto, incluyendo un sitio de web de inmigración que ayudaría a gente a obtener los recursos necesarios para cualquier problema que tuvieran un sitio de web para noticias para adolescentes, una aplicación móvil cultural, un uh, juego de lazo de vaquero móvil y un juego, una aplicación móvil de preguntas de, de uh, fútbol americano. Ella decidió en el juego de preguntas de fútbol americano. A ella le encanta el fútbol americano como deporte y también como un medio para conectar a familiares y amigos. So, acompáñenme a darle la bienvenida a Giovanna. Okay, so this is my mentor. Her name is Divina, and she is a web developer at 8x8. She's from Mexico, and as of right now, because of the pandemic, she enjoys spending time with her daughter. So, ella es mi mentora, se llama Divina. Es una desarrolladora de sitios web en la compañía 8x8 y es de México y le gusta pasar tiempo con su hija. So, this is my project. Um, as she mentioned, I decided on the NFL trivia game. So, it is an iOS app. And she also mentioned that I selected this because it's my favorite sport to watch with family. Some topics and technologies I learned are GitHub, and this is a code repository site where you can store your code and share it with your peers so you can all edit together. And to actually code the game, I learned about Swift UI on Xcode. I completed the first two pages and some of the trivia game. And in the future, I would like to add logic and story mechanisms for the answers and user information. So al final decidí um, un juego de preguntas, multi de preguntas con opciones múltiples. Es una aplicación iOS y lo escogí porque me gusta mucho el deporte y verlo con mi familia. Uh, aprendí cómo usar GitHub, so es una página donde puedes guardar tu código y, comp y compartirlo con tus amigos y tus compañeros para poder trabajar todos juntos. Y lo programé en una aplicación que se llama Xcode usando Swift UI. Completé las primeras dos páginas y alguna parte del juego y en el futuro me gustaría agregar lógica y uh, una, una, un mecanismo para guardar todas las respuestas e información de los usuarios. So for, in my experience, some highlights were discussing our weekends and designing mockups. Um, some lessons I learned are that patience is very important and code is very sensitive, meaning that if you don't type exactly what you want, your application won't work. Some challenges I faced were managing my time. So um, school and then my task that I was assigned to complete the project. And another challenge was figuring out how to fix the mistakes in the code so that the app would run. So, algunas, unos aspectos destacados de mi experiencia fueron discutir nuestros fines de semanas y diseñar mockups. So, esto es 
uh, cuando estaba pensando cómo quería ver que se viera mi aplicación, diseñamos um, los, las fotos y los botones y todo eso. Uh, algunas lecciones que aprendí son que la paciencia es muy importante y que el código es muy sensitivo, o so, si no lo pones exactamente como se debe, no va a funcionar la aplicación. Uh, algunos desafíos que tuve fueron manejando mi tiempo, porque a veces soy muy desorganizada, y averiguar cómo uh, arreglar los erro errores en el código. So this is my demo. Um, this is the first page. And to create this first page, the background, I um, use an instance image. This button was a navigation link. At first, we did have some challenges on like fixing the background and making sure it filled everything. But at the end, I'm pretty happy about how it came out and the opacity. Um, right now, I just click the, the continue button, which is a navigation link that takes you to this next page, which is the actual sign up page. You really can't see because we still need to edit some things, but there's an email, username, and password, and those are all text fields that will store the user's information. And the background was also created using an instance image, and the submit but button is actually also a navigation link that will take you to the actual game. So this is the game and we had discussed earlier, we still need to work on it um, because the background obviously doesn't fit the whole screen and we want to fix that. So no matter what um, device you're using, it works. Some of these questions are just like general questions about the game, but in the future, I want to add more because right now there's only five. Um, they, we used a storyboard for this, meaning that like all the buttons and stuff, you just drag and you can add them on there and then later connected it to the Swift UI that you saw on the previous page. And after this page, we were going to have a results viewer, but we weren't able to figure out how to connect it. So that's also something we want to do in the future. And then right now it should come up, but it's how we would want the results viewer to look. So the label would have some words like um, congrats or almost there or not quite depending on the amount of questions you got correct. So right there, you got blank out of blank correct would tell you like one out of five, two out of five, et cetera. So thank you, gracias.